Oh boy, I really did think that the Boltor Karnan was very good. I didn't think it was going to get topped. But, bro, this Incarnon Lex, the one way I can describe it is if you guys do you remember the Golden Gun from the original 007 games, think of a, a Golden Gun, but instead of shooting bullets, this gun is shooting fucking airplanes. Because you're able to clean out entire corridors of enemies, like you're seeing in the background, with just a single shot. And you'd think that the slow fire rate slow, will slow you down your damage per second or your kills per second. Bro, it is anything that touches the projectile will die. There is no question about it. Just watch this fucking acolyte spawn in and try to speak in my direction. I never thought I'd see the day where a pistol that is stronger than the Latum gets released. Well, here it is. We have the Incarnon Lex. So wasting no time, let's go right to the evolutions and see what we're working with. Evolution 1 is like every other Incarnon weapon and it's just the Incarnon form. Here's Evolution 2 in which I will be taking Hoplite Virtue. Now, despite Avara having a channeling ability and she can easily use trusty sidearm, I don't always feel like coming back to the Zeramin and swapping out based on the Warframe. And more Warframes I have will get their shields broken than Warframes that have a channeling ability. Here in Evolution 3, I will not tell you what to take. These are all comfort perks. They're all gonna help you. are gonna feel better for you. I'm gonna be taking Taking ready retaliation for the reload speed on empty because I find the Lex's reload to be absolute garbage. For Evolution 4, I don't think we need Executioner's Dawn because it's already one-shotting in the body. I think Elemental Balance is good, but we don't need to apply much statuses other than Viral. So we're going to go ahead and go with Critical Parallel, and it's going to give us about a 50% chance to Orange Crit, plus some extra crit damage. Well, those are all the stats that we're getting from our Evolutions and stuff, which is allowing this Sun Launcher to launch even hotter suns at the opponents to absolutely destroy everyone. Well, with that out of the way, let's go take a look at the build. So... We're going to begin our build by putting in Horn Strike for some raw damage, and then we're going to put in Hemorrhage. Hemorrhage is going in because the Incarnate Form will force impacts, so anything that lives one shot will be bled to death. After those two are in, we're going to follow up with Primed Pistol Gambit for our crit chance, and Primed Target Cracker. If you do not have Primed Pistol Gambit, you could use Creeping Bullseye, but Creeping Bullseye has negative fire rate, and this thing's already shooting slow, so be careful with that. But there's our crit chance of crit damage out the way. We're going we're gonna to put in two Galvanized mods, being Galvanized Diffusion and Galvanized Shot. Galvanized Shot's going in because this thing has an awesome status chance of 132, so it's almost like it's self-priming. Second Shot will kill anything because of this. And then once those are in, we've got to put in Viral to enhance our bleeds, so slapping Pistol Pestilence plus Frostbite. I'm also using Suppress because I was playing with Avara, I need my gun suppressed. And then I also have Secondary Merciless in just to make the damage go even crazier. Well, there is our build complete and the evolutions are also complete as well. That should conclude the rest of this video. Once again, this little pistol, this cute little desert eagle, is capable of shooting planets as soon as you unlock the incarnate form. And they hit like a planet as well. They are going through cleaning up every enemy in every corridor. Watch this other acolyte spawn in and think he's somewhat different. Let me just find you, bro. Hold up. Poof. Gone. Disappeared. So this thing is powerful. I would suggest if you haven't selected it, you select this thing. But it's fine if you don't because the other weapons are good as well. Like that ceramic dagger, that shit looks clean as fuck too. Well, I'm going to conclude this video right here. Uh, if you like it, leave a like. If you don't, don't. I try to upload Warframe content every day. It's been your boy Tyrone. Peace out.